All right, here's a great topic just for all you mentors out there who are using the tools at PursueGod.org. We're going to talk about the key discoveries in a pursuit of God. Remember, truth is discovered when you're out there helping people one topic at a time. Remember that truth is discovered. So if you're trying to help people go full circle, you know, trust Jesus, honor God, help others, like we learn in Foundations, there are three key discoveries that you need to really help them get to to move through this circle. So let's put this to the side and let's talk about those three discoveries. Now, the first discovery is you have to help people at some point to realize that they need Jesus. You know, if you want to help them to trust Jesus for salvation, they're going to have to understand their brokenness and know that they need Jesus in the first place. Acts chapter 2 is a great example of this. Peter preaches his first sermon, and in verse 37, it says that his words pierced their hearts, and they said to him and the other apostles, brothers, what should we do? See, they came to this discovery through his teaching that they were broken and needed Jesus to save them. So that's the first thing. Here's the second key discovery along the pathway then, is people have to understand that they can change. Once they come to faith and trust Jesus for salvation, they have to understand that they can change and their lives can be impacted by this new faith, right? Romans chapter 6 says this, Paul speaking, should we keep on sinning so that God can show us more and more of his wonderful grace? He says, of course not. We died to sin. How can we continue to live in it? So he's talking to people who have become Christians but who are struggling to get to that second thing where they honor God in their life. So that's the second key discovery. Now, the third key discovery is people have to realize that they're on mission. This is probably the hardest one for most Christians. Most Christians don't realize that Jesus wants them to go out and make disciples. Now, probably the clearest place to see this is in the Great Commission, Matthew 28. Jesus tells his disciples, go make disciples of all nations. And so, This really is his co-mission. He's calling all of his followers to go make disciples, go help other people pursue God. But most Christians today don't even have a clue that this should apply to them. And so we have to help people discover that they're on mission, every single Christian. Now, here's one more key discovery that really I think we all need to understand that each one of these discoveries takes time. You know, you're not going to just help someone understand that they need Jesus the first time you talk to them. You're not going to help a Christian understand that they should have a lifestyle change or overcome some addiction or problem just by telling them the first time. You're not going to help a Christian who is not on mission to understand they're on mission by just saying it to them one time. All of these key discoveries take time. And that's why we encourage you one topic at a time to patiently invest in someone until they go full circle. Use our tools and you can do that.